And this is where you were when it happened. Merle, you're spending some time with Davenport, and you're, you're all aboard the Star Blaster still. Uh, but right now, it's just the two of you, you and Davenport. What are you doing? Playing uh, tabletop games. Playing a game. Uh, like a card game or like a board game? or Yeah, we're playing a card game. We're playing Euchre. Two-person Euchre? Is that possible? Yeah, it's possible in this world. Um, <laughs> it's spelled Y-O-O-K-E-R. <laughs> Euchre. Do you Euchre. do you play that often with Davenport? Just to, like kill time? Uh, you know, it's kind of become a thing we we kind of do. We just okay. because you don't have to talk. You you I like the idea of you guys just playing this game in in silence. And you've you've played like several rounds now and I think you're just trying to like I don't know, man, like distract yourself from everything that's going on. Well, and he also owes me a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, sure. Cuz I'm really good. And after a few rounds, he breaks the silence and he says, holy shit, I think it's my birthday. I, I, I guess we got to start, I guess we got to start caring about stuff like that again. What are you like? 130, 140? He says, yeah, I don't know. Do we count those years? I, I certainly Hmm. didn't age during that. Jesus, Merle, we're going to get older now. Hmm. He says, "Do, do you? Do you think we'll be able to have normal lives after this? No, nobody's ever had a life like ours. There's no rule book. I don't even know where to begin. Why would you want a normal life? Normal lives suck. Like <laughs> he laughed. this game, we play this game, and we just sit here. It's just a way to kill time. Come on, Skipper, you don't want to just kill time all the time. He says, I, I know, I just... How do you want to live, Merle? Like, I don't have a... This mission has been my life for a century. I don't know what I want to do. You want to know what I'd like to do? I'd like to move to the beach. You know why? Because with the ocean, the scenery is always changing. And I want the scenery to always be changing, man. I don't want to be looking at the same thing all the time. I want to see a million billion shells. I want to watch rain come sweeping in. That's that's the life right there. Change it up, man. Keep at, it interesting. As you're talking to him, Merle, he drops his cards and he he's blinking like really fast and he wipes his his eyes and his face and he he looks around and his breath it, it, it quickens. He's he's panting, and he says, "Yeah, wait, wait. Where am I? You're you're Merle, right? I kn- I know you. What's going on? And Merle, you you see this panicked guy in front of you, and you you want to help this guy out, but." This guy, you, you can't remember who that is in front of you. And you, you see out the windows and you're up in the sky. And, and the details of why that is leave you. Your, your memories, your time on the beach, your conversations with John, the first church of Fungston, they're fading. Everything's fading, Merle. The world is coming down around you. You're, you're lost. Everything is just static. Wait, who are you? <laughs> I'm Davenport. I'm Davenport. I'm Davenport. Davenport.